Dry brushing is a simple, inexpensive technique that can help you boost your lymphatic system, reduce lymphedema, while improving your skin health with exfoliation. My name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema as well as oncology and women's health. I created another video for dry brushing for the entire body and I will place a link for that down below or up above, but I was requested by so many of you to show my dry brushing routine for the face, head, neck area as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a routine that you can correctly stimulate the lymphatic system in your head, neck, and face area using a dry brush. So first, what is dry brushing? Using a natural soft bristle brush, dry brushing will help you stimulate the lymphatic system to help reduce lymphedema or other skin conditions. Your lymphatic system plays a major role in your immunity or your immune system. So stimulating and improving activation of the lymphatic system can help reduce pressure from something like allergies or a cold or other illnesses. It's very inexpensive and really easy to do. I placed links for the brush that I'm gonna be using in this video down below. It is a softer brush for a little bit more sensitive skin, which you wanna consider when you're doing the face and the neck area. But I also put links down below for the one that I use for more for the body or ones that you can get a package deal that you can get all of them in one. This brush is fairly soft. However, if it is too intense for you, you can find something a little bit softer or I would consider doing something like lymphatic drainage massage instead. I have created videos for lymphatic drainage massage for the head, neck, and face area, as well as one for sinus pressure. So if the dry brushing is too intense, you can go ahead and check those out. I'll put a link for those down below or up above here. So you can do a dry brushing daily, but it's best right before you do a shower or bathing. It's always done on dry skin before you put any lotions or oils on it. You wanna make sure you avoid areas that are really sensitive or you have any broken or open skin, as well as if you have any signs of infection. Your pressure will be firm, but you should not have any pain. You don't wanna think about scrubbing the skin, but you're rather lightly brushing it. So if your skin turns red or appears irritated or gets scratched up, you wanna make sure you lighten up or switch to a softer brush, or again, discontinue, talk to your doctor, and maybe switch to something like lymphatic drainage massage. So we're gonna get into the routine and show you, but I wanna give you a visual so you understand what you're doing. The lymphatic system is a one-way system, so all of your lymphatic fluid will have to work through the vessels to your lymph nodes. Then at the lymph nodes, they are filtered and detoxed, and then the fluid will return back down towards the heart. So let's look at an anatomy picture. We know the vessels in your head, neck, and face area run outwards towards the side around where your ears are and then work its way down the neck towards your collarbone or your clavicle. So when we do our dry brushing, we wanna follow the pattern of the lymphatic vessels. So I've seen the videos on YouTube for other dry brushing routines and they'll use a lot of circular patterns. Yes, this will likely exfoliate the skin, but it doesn't always encourage the fluid moving in the right direction. So instead, I will take the dry brush and use short little strokes following along with the lymphatic vessels. There are no set guidelines on how long you need to do your dry brushing routine for, but in general, it will probably take you about two to five minutes. So we're gonna start our dry brushing routine. So using your dry brush, you wanna think about stimulate the lymph nodes around your clavicle or your collarbone first. All of the fluid in your face, your head and neck area have to get through this area to then get back to the heart or out of that area. So we wanna start down low around where your collarbone or your clavicle is, and we're gonna just start by doing small circles in the area. I'll do about five to 10 little circles or about 20 seconds or so. And you can just do those little circles and you can do both sides or one side at a time. And then from there, we're gonna think about the lymph vessels running down the neck. And so we wanna clear this area, especially if you feel like you're swollen under here. It wants to get out, but if this area is backed up, this fluid then can't get out. So we'll work our way towards around the back of the ear and small strokes down towards the collarbone. I will usually do about three to five straight swipes down and maybe a little bit more if some area is a little irritated, but you can kind of work towards a little bit more in the front of the neck. And then you can also work in the back of the neck. Again, working your way downwards towards your collarbone or your clavicle. So after you've done a little bit there, 
that's where your lymph nodes are back here. So I will do some more small circles around right below where your ears are. And I'm still kind of thinking about working it downwards with my pressure. But eight to 10 times with there. And then we can work more into the face area. So you know when you feel a cold coming on, you have swollen lymph nodes under here. So we wanna think about working underneath the jaw area and then back down. If you look in the mirror, it almost makes a seven. So coming across towards the bottom of your ear and then down. So you wanna guide the fluid with your dry brush towards that bottom of the ear. And doing about three to five there, or again, you can spend a little bit more time if you want. And from there, you can just bring some of that back down again doing a couple strokes. So a lot of people will spend most of their time in this area. If you wanna look more into sinus pressure, you can also do the face. Again, make sure that your brush is soft enough if your skin is really sensitive in your face, but you're thinking about drawing a line down the middle of your face and everything working out towards its own ear. So coming around the chin, you can work across the jaw, towards the ears, doing three to five there. And then you can work kind of a top of the lip or above the lip and working across the cheek. And you can spend a little more time if you want. I'm just going pretty quick for the video. And then again, kind of below the eye, just make sure you're careful around the eye area for sensitivity, but looking at the sinus pressure through here. And then you can also do out to the side towards the ears from the forehead area. Doing about three to five or a little more if you'd like. After you've worked everything out towards the side, towards the ear, you're gonna go back and try to guide all of that fluid back down the neck towards the clavicle or the collarbone. And after you've made it back down to your clavicle or your collarbone, you are done. You can do both sides at the same time or you can just do one and then the other or one at a time. And again, if you're looking more for exfoliation, you can do the small circles. However, if you're looking more for lymphatic flow, you can do more short strokes. And it's just fine to do small circles around the area and then finish with the short strokes, guiding it along the way, but you just find whatever works for you. And after you've completed the whole routine, then you can go ahead and shower or wash your face to get rid of any extra dead skin cells that the brushing may have helped exfoliate from your skin. Make sure you pat dry your towel rather than rub it, and then you can use your lotion or moisturizers from there. Dry brushing in general does not have a lot of research behind it, but there is a lot of anecdotal evidence. A lot of people will find that it works really well for them. So it's worth giving it a try. Again, if it's too intense, then I would suggest going back to lymphatic massage, which then you can go ahead and check out my other video with a link down below. Dry brushing for the head, neck, and face area is really simple. It could be short and easy and quick. So I hope showing that was helpful for you all. And if you have any other topics that you'd like to see covered, feel free to comment those down below. Thanks everyone.